Welcome back to another video of some Might Rank That Night featuring me. Yours truly, dude. Panda. Playing Jingwei. Figured I'd record this video because I want to get at least one video with every ADC before Worlds. Get some content out for you guys. And, um, Jingwei does very well into his team comp, in my opinion. So, hopefully, we can get a good game. Um, I'm just trying to bang out content, really. So, I just saved this guy's life so hard. This might be... This guy needs to go in, man. What does he have? Oof. What a start to a game. This guy doesn't have sprint and dual lane. How do you know that they didn't have a strat? Save the game, go full crit, not turning back. Yeah, this game I will be going full crit because they have two squishy mages and no front line. And Jingwei is pretty good with crit. Bro, can this guy use his ability? What? Okay, well. Let's try and analyze this. Obviously, a loop start from, from this lane. Bro, this guy really needs to attack. Wow. Jeez, can this got to a start. Anyways, um I was AFK level one. So they had a loop start. Upgraded horrific thus. Pan is a great level one ability. Ooh, it was very strong level one. Try to get a kill. Fortunately off. Fender was AFK, so it almost worked out. Um This guy's behind you dude. Perfect. This guy's just anting. I need a beads of pen. Or else I'm dead. Oh, no, they don't have it. Does he need jungle, by the way? Nice. He doesn't need jungle. Anyways. Keep getting uh, kind of thwafted with ideas when I'm trying to speak. Uh, they just had some money, didn't choose anything. Oh, you're talking about energy? The energy just played their game. Played it very well. Um, Ulu super misplay that? Yeah, okay, Ulu misplay this very, very much so. It was a misplay from Ulu to an amazing NATO. Yeah. Fan is still FK? Yeah, so, okay. It's hard to, like, speak when things are going on. Uh, first of all, not sure why there's a fence support in the first place. Second of all, this guy's dead. Jesus, man. Um, anyways... We're able to stall their start because I got a double knock up at level one. And then slowly uh, poke them out. Poke them down while I. while they attack their fen. This guy's in thing. So it's kind of annoying because my, my early game's super screwed up. This guy's blink ult. I, I like blink as fen. Not sprint. Hasn't done much. I'm not really sure how I'm gonna like even get out of this lane, but at least I got first blood. It's not bad for us. Get a knock up here. I really do want to zone this Fenrir of waves. It's pretty useless to me. This guy's kind of just walking around. Well, if I go blink level one, I don't know. This fan's like stepping away for a moment. That's right. Um, I mean, you got a pretty pretty gnarly start for me at least. This fan needs to go help this nausea. An ally has been a slave. Yeah, okay. This is questionable. Um, anyways, I keep trying to like talk and then things are happening. Uh anyways. Jing great oh wait, I haven't switched to smite, have I? I'm still on this. Sorry, boys. There you go. Should be better. And I was on Bordos window. Uh, Jing really against his team comp. Obviously, your three is immune to mixer. Basically, immune to knockups, not the damage, but the knockup itself, because you're able to j uh, dash. Oh, I'm not paying attention. This guy's boots, doesn't he? No, he doesn't. He's just way faster than me for some reason. 
Nice. I shouldn't have popped a pot there since I'm backing, but I didn't care. I was gonna itch my nose and I got axed. Uh, I gotta clear the wave in your jungle. He's getting killed. Use your leap while you're at it. Yeah, this fender's not playing very well, to be honest, but it's okay. I'll purple's up soon. Wish I wasn't, like, itching my nose. Um, so, Jing is really good full commit when she's ahead. Very hard to lock down as a hunter. Crit is good with her, because she has inherent crit with her, too. So you get 100% crit with three autos late game. And her overall damage is really, really easy to secure with CC, which we have a lot of. Never mind. Trolling with the CC part. But yeah. I think she's pretty strong into this team comp. All you gotta do with Jing is stall your early game, make sure you don't lose a lot. Don't get your actives forced. Such such things. How do you have a late rotation from doing a purple as a fender? I'm so confused what he's trying to do. That isn't being AFK. It's okay, don't, don't BM him. He's trying. So yeah, we just want to keep either tied with this Uller or ahead. We should be ahead because of first blood. Unfortunately, this fender is given return kills. At least he's gotten a kill elsewhere. Their team comp is very bad, but I feel like our team comp is just as bad. Because we both have no front line. But they kinda they kinda have a front line with Erlang, whereas we literally just have Fenrir. But uh it's okay. Who do you think is United's biggest competition? What are the top three ADCs going to worlds? Obvious uh sweet team I can answer the uh gods question, because world is so soon. Uh, I think biggest competition is energy, though. When they play at land, they like play very well. Okay. If Dignitas doesn't choke, they'll be tied with them. No offense to Dig, of course. I think they're really good. So This guy doesn't win this fight, ever. Not sure why he decided not to... Okay. he take the kill hello i've never seen that attack before actually that's pretty sick those autos yeah i don't know what that guy's doing uh yeah the biggest competition energy dig depending on which one is having a good tournament because stats are stats but at the end of the day whoever has the better tournament as a team will win no matter how good they were online split or Scrims or previous land, you know, whatever the case may be. Neath thirst took over her brain, yeah. You guys probably got better potential with just as a better team fight with Erling, Zeus, and Rajin. They have, oh, they have a better team fight. Yeah, I was going to say our, our team fight is not better. But that Erling just saved my life. I was going to go in on the Uller. <laughs> Should have waited a little bit. I wasn't paying attention either way. Yeah, so we were able to get out of the gank and get the solo kill. Totable's getting frustrated with the team. I'm gonna ward so that doesn't happen again. My phone's been vibrating me for 20 minutes. It reminds me of someone, Kappa. Damn, dude, come on. Barracuda left. Why warrior tie by? Uh, Jinx steroid makes her her one three makes her autos hit extremely hard. I feel like going Warrior Tabai on this guy throws off throws off people a lot. Boots are almost entirely preference. Uh, yeah, I mean, Ninja Tabai makes you hit less hard. How did I not hit that? So this guy still doesn't win the fight. He has more power than me. For the time being. But I have better everything else. Not kidding. I'm just peering at their buff timers, seeing if anything comes up randomly. So we obviously have the icons off the map. So, if I get... Okay, 
If I see that, like, there, I just came up, right? So, I think Defender sees it. They really make a significant difference. Uh, if you hit more autos, the warrior tie by your better. Nice job, dude. Reach the buff so he doesn't kill it with his 1 3 combo. Their purple's up in a second. Get both these buffs for free. Just map awareness. Attack the gold fury, huh? This is an interesting call. Guess maybe if they don't have rewards, this is fine. Just didn't have rewards, what a call. Yeah, so boots, boots are the game, don't make that huge of a difference. We'll see what you like. I prefer the warrior tabi with the one three steroid from Jinx. When you're full committing, you get the extra zing with power. I like how Fen is making the shots. I mean, for for a questionable early game, he's definitely tidied up. So kudos to him, dude. Well done. Gotta go poison tar first, cause obviously crit. Two has crit. Even if you don't have points in it past level one, it'll be better for mid game. And it's also better for self peeling, especially with Jing, cause of the damage reduction. Alpha Dog's a good player. Yeah, I don't think he's bad. I played Alpha a good bit. He had a rough early game, that's for sure. He definitely didn't play it very well, but uh, I think his thought process and his build is fun. I'm gonna dash this. Get the timer down. It's okay. okay. So, you have the Uru change stance. Means he's obviously going to look for something. I can waste this Neath's time a little bit. I mean, it's Neath. Her kill potential is slim to none. I might get ulted, but I can ult off of that and I should never die. Get my jungle rewarded. I think I just saw Erlang somewhere. Yeah. Yeah, I'm wrong, dude. I guess Neath potential is sick. This guy didn't jump over the wall. So he'd be dead. If the other jumped over the gold free wall, he would have been in a better spot. But he didn't, so if you're going crit, you want the warrior power. Uh, yeah, that the extra power from warrior is also good for crit. I agree with that. They dive in their backs, which is a very, very bad call, especially for some Erling. But we're doing our job. So we have a getting into the mid game. Got our critter line. Nice kill. Thank you, dude. Appreciate that. That really played pretty weird. He could have just walked away and been fine because he had, like, a better position on me in terms of escaping. Like, I, I couldn't have chased him, but he turned back into me, so I got the kill. Nice back. Thank you. I appreciate that as well. I, look, I could look for a corner play here. We see their Neath in mid. I should get a high corner though. If they know I'm here, I'll throw sentry down. Lula did just jump, so I could freeze on him for a little bit. Arling's right side as well. That's his beads, but I can force, or his Aegis, but I can force his tower. Uh, not if he hits those, actually. So, the reason I didn't uh, look to hit him right away is because you obviously have a movement speed penalty when you land, or when you auto. When you land. And the only way he ever gets that killer forces another active out of me is by hitting the axe. So the only thing I have to do is juke the axe and then I could chase him with my ult no matter where he goes. Fire, the fuck is our team comp? Fire, Don't ask me, dude. Fire, nice job pressing W. Appreciate it. I do. I still have Aegis, so the Zeus shouldn't be a threat. That was a really, really good Naja ult. I think Homie's dead. Yeah, well done. Oof. Kinda cocked his uh, Naja ring bombs. This guy really wants to attack Fire Giant. Hmm. Not sure what I want to do, honestly. I can't fight until I see Erling anyway. And he still hasn't shown up with that, so it's like weird for me. Hmm. 
If any of those autos crit on the knees, she was dead. So it was worth me taking the trade. Or the chance to trade. This guy is dead. Alrighty. Okay, there's no beads. There you go. This poor is not used to his patience play. Yeah, that's right. Ulu is getting dumpstered. Uh, he's not getting dumpstered. Honestly, had I? If I just the spirit, I might have lived there too, to be honest. I should have just played it. I, I mean, the chance I took is fine, right? I have 45% chance of creating three autos and then 20 on the rest. So it was a chance worth taking. I could have killed the Neath and then she backs off earlier. Or I trade for one if you want. One for one. Hey man, how's your day? Hey, it's 11 o'clock, but my day was great. My night's going pretty well as well. So, we've got a good, good, good lead. A great lead, actually. Both of our actives are up. We have timers. And I'm going to sentry. Gold. If they don't have a ward, I'll pull. Which they don't. I can pull and tank this forever because I have crit. We have Vulcan secure, and they're going to be distracted by their own buffs. Actually, they don't even have their own red timer, so. Nice. Clean gold. Do it off rip. Just crap the ward. Nobody's there. Easy peasy. Grab some more normals, just for some, some decent vision if I'm unsure where somebody is. Not going to skip my way for backs. It's more efficient to get this stuff. These, these are worth way more than backs at this point of the game. So I'm pretty much free to do whatever I want in this lane now. The Euler is three levels behind in a stalled matchup that turns into my favor heavily. He's in middle lane. So I'm going to shove left. Tell my team to retreat right lane. I can get a free T2. That's not good though. Ooh, that is really, really not good. That is actually so bad. Did I get fire? I guess we'll see what happens. Get a T2. Trade a T2 for tier 1. It's not terrible. They are on fire. I feel like I can do work. No, this guy doesn't have ulti. He's probably just dead. One, three. Oh my god. I knew he was going to steal that dude. Fog tank and all that, dude. I'm trying to get this portal demon. That's the only reason I ulted. Also, part of my French, dude. Not PG-13. Uh, yeah, that was pretty free. I don't know. I guess they... I don't think they had to kill for that, so it was bad on them pulling it. I really wanted to kill that early. I even threw the one out, knew he dashed away. Unfortunately, the Zeus stayed. I could have maybe not ulted. And life sealed off Pyro. But I wanted to stay healthy for the push. And at this point, our team combo is just infinitely better. I'm not going to go to red because they just saw me dash and they don't even have a ult. Do you take donor requests for picks and builds? Uh, I mean if, if you want to donate, I'd be happy to play a god that you want to see me play. And I can give you pretty much in-depth, but I mean, I'm not asking for it. That's all on you. I'm not doing it. I don't do like donate 10 bucks and I'll play a god that you want. Like, I pretty much play everything anyways. This is free kills. Bro. This guy's baiting me, man. Cover the option. He's going low. Oh, the Vulcan hole. Oh, that was a sickle. Not bills that just get troll. Yeah, also, if you're going to donate like 10 bucks or like $3 and be like, yeah, build like no boots, some some random, random stuff. I thought that was Zeus too. I was like, bro, that goes over walls? Since when? We should just be pushing. I mean, we, 
we should just be pushing and pressuring. Heck, I just got a miss. Oh, my dash. That's awkward. We can get free Phoenix. Well, they're more like the dead guy, you know, something like that. I went to to me instead of walking away. Yo. How the heck did that hit me? Just kind of leaves it ended. Oh, help a dog. Yeah, this game should just be pretty much free from this point on. We should just go mid. Yes, dude. Leave me to tank. Get the towers here. Hooler, more like. Wooler? Oh, Hooler. I, I can read, boys. So, Naja's just kind of been spit pushing it up, huh? Should be free gold. How did Fen get. Not get any read because he blinked around inside of him? I don't know. That's what I kind of opened my eyes at as well. I just saw the Fender ult walking around, not hitting anybody. So I have Deathbringer. Huge, huge, huge spike. They're looking for a pick right lane. I need to back and fly to him as soon as possible. He ulted out already, so it looks like he's dead. Damn. Unfortunate. That was my joke, but worse. <laughs> he was in even run. Yeah, exactly. He doesn't even run him. Idiot. Make sure his tower don't go down. Defend it. I have ulti. I'm literally in no threat of dying ever. Also just kind of realized we had raw solo even though we've been sieging. They didn't even hit me until I looked at this is raw solo. Pretty funny. Attack Fire Giant. Overall, it's been a really good game. Um, from my perspective, I got the... This guy is trolling, right? This guy is definitely trolling. <laughs> okay. That was definitely questionable. If that. This guy's also trolling. That guy's trolling. This guy's trolling. This guy's trolling. That guy's trolling. They all trolling. Yeah, but why'd you have to do him like that? <laughs> Pagan farms on around? Yeah, Pagan's pretty good. They all trolling, boys. They just got three shot. <laughs> Full damage, Zeus, 5k down. Walked in, three shot, boom. We should just win here. So overall, it's been a good game. I think I've shown the strengths of Jingwei with a lead. Explained myself pretty well, shown decision making, explained decision making, so overall I think it'd be a great video for people to watch and learn from. You already know the most BM thing to do at the end of the rank game is fun that player damage though. We out here on this in autos. No. Get off of me, bro. Ah, nice. Ooh. Ooh, they actually have CC immunity. You're trolling, right? All right. Good game. Played versus decent players. Both team comps were kind of whack, so it's hard to really show the strengths and weaknesses of this guy into real team comps. But overall, uh, played it pretty well. Had good rotations and stuff. Build is pretty much what I'd build. I'd finish this build off with Wind Demon, if you guys are wondering. Um, so, yeah. That's that. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe on my YouTube channel. And tell me how I can improve my videos and what guys you want to see next and more of what you want to hear from me. Until then, I'll see you guys next video. Love you all. Take care. Peace.